Hey there, welcome back to the channel. If you missed last week's episode, we traveled from Otto Lake Road BLM near Denali National Park to Talkeetna, Alaska. This 162 mile leg brings our total miles traveled this summer to just over 4,600 miles. We spent an amazing morning with K2 Aviation on Ruth Glacier and enjoyed the spectacular flight there and back. This summer is wrapping up to be absolutely unforgettable. So stay tuned as we slow things down a bit, go back in time, and travel like real Alaskans. This is episode number 17. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. This summer's trip to Alaska has been all about planes and automobiles. And today, it's all about trains. So we're here in Talkeetna, Alaska. We're gonna take the Flagstop train up to Hurricane. We met up with our friends here, Stacy and Gary from Powhana Travels. If you haven't checked out their channel, I'll put a card up somewhere. <laughs> and we're gonna take you on the train. This is gonna be epic. You guys are gonna have fun? It's gonna be a great day. All right, you ready? Yes, yeah. All right, let's hit the train. Moving. I'm not driving. I love it. <laughs> yeah, you guys get to enjoy the I get to enjoy the view. <laughs> had to stop here in Chase, Alaska to let off some folks that are going to take a rafting trip down the river. We're about 12 miles up from Talkeetna and they let us get out of the train and walk around, check out the scenery, the wildlife. We're going to walk down by the river, I think, but uh, pretty cool flag stop train. They actually stop along the route um, to let people on and off. They have cabins through this part of the country and the only way they can get to the cabin is on the train. So it was pretty neat. So uh, definitely more to come of this trip. We've only been on the train for a few minutes, but uh, we actually also had to pull over to let the express train come through. So we'll see if we can get a clip of the express train uh, coming by. I think I hear it. 
So let's see, let's see if it's coming. That was the express train. Yeah. Oh, good. You scared didn't the... record me go, holy no. cow! I was looking at the train. <laughs> You're a rebel, getting into trouble. You are kind of like a fire, like a fire, like a fire. Unpredictable, so original. You are never backing down, backing down, backing down. That's what I like about you. So we stopped again here along the trip to Hurricane, got off the train to see the Shannon Cartwright um, artist studio. She's an author, an illustrator, so we're going to go check out her studio. For your baby, don't know how you make it me feel this way, but can I say, that's what I like about you. Tina's inside spending all the money on uh, children's books, but uh, it's a pretty cool little studio. It's kind of new. Uh, the old one is over there. I'll show you a little clip of that. But uh, it's a really neat stop here on the way to Hurricane on the train. And uh, really cool artist. So check her stuff out online. Shannon Cartwright. See it up here. And there you go. The Hurricane Turn Train serves as a lifeline for Alaskans living off the road system in the backcountry wilderness north of Talkeetna. In the summer, the Hurricane operates Thursday through Monday, departing Talkeetna and providing flag stop service along the way to the turnaround point of Hurricane Gulch. This is our stop on the bridge at Hurricane Gulch, which provides epic views of the Gulch, weather permitting. Yeah, this is a blast. So they stopped on the bridge so we could get a shot off the bridge and get the door. Whoa, that was crazy. So that was pretty cool. And it's cold and rainy, so we got wet. <laughs> but it was still fun. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, thank you. Here's to a fun day on the Alaska Railroad. Hurricane turn. We made another stop real quick. We're going to go down here and see the salmon in the river. You made it. 
toss a line in there and go get some kings. <laughs> It's hard, actually easier to see them yeah, up there. It's easier to see up there. There's one right there. There's a bunch of them right over there in that right pool. The yeah. We stopped here in Curry, Alaska. This is an old railroad town from the 20s. Used to be a big hotel here. It burnt down many years ago, but uh, it's a cool little stop. Let me get the train in it. Well, the train whistle means it's time to get back on, kind of like the bell to go to class. So we're going to get back on. We're going to head back to Talkeetna. And then I think we're going to scare up some dinner. And then go see Maggie. And then go back and get Maggie. We had a great time riding the hurricane train in Alaska. Another bucket list item checked off the list. If you're wondering how we're doing all this sightseeing on a budget, check out the Alaska Tour Saver coupon book. We used it to get half off on many of the tours we enjoyed while in Alaska. You can get your own Tour Saver on their website at toursaver.com. Full disclosure, we're not affiliated whatsoever with the Tour Saver folks, and we did pay full price for our Tour Saver coupon book. We're just mentioning it because it saved us a ton during this trip to Alaska. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give us a thumbs down, and be sure to leave us a comment and tell us how we could have done better. We love having you along on this journey. Until next time, safe travels. Bye.